cray-cray up in here. It's cray-cray up in here. I just made a lift out of the campground into like 8 million cars, oncoming traffic, but wrong way over here, pulled it off superbly. Now we got to get over one more lane to the right. Are they going to let us oh, do the it? Cow, he did. What a super nice guy. I wish I could get him on video. Thank you, guy, whoever that is behind us. Thank you for letting us in. Woohoo! Told you we could oh, do see, it. I got my seatbelt on. I did stop and put my seatbelt on once we got moving there. Oh, we got people in the road. Where are we headed, Dave? Uh, Hampton. Hampshire. Hampton. Is it Hampton Beach or is it just Hampton? It's like in North Hampton. North Hampton. North Hampton, New Hampshire is where we're headed Three this morning. Of a mile. About 45, 45 minutes Sanford is all. Road. Yeah. Not too far to go. Um, just a quick little trip. We went ahead and uh, hooked up the Jeep just because I like riding in the rig and enjoying the, the scenery and it's cool. So we went ahead and hooked up the Jeep even though it's just a short trip over to another campground. Uh, we were at the last place. What was it called? Sun Outdoors? Sun Outdoors, Sun Wells Beach. Sun Outdoors Wells Beach is where we're leaving. We were there for two weeks. It was a, it was a good experience. So um, the second week was good. Yeah, the second week, once we got that new spot, the first spot was a little tight, but week two, we moved to that second spot and it was pretty good. We enjoyed it. Um, beautiful area up here, very crowded. Um, yeah, so we'll be heading to our new campground and let's see what this place has got to offer. All right. Hey everybody. We in the parking lot at Home Depot and the Outlet Mall or something. They wouldn't let us into our campground until 2 o'clock. And we had to be at the other campground at 11 o'clock. And there's a one hour drive between the two. So that left us with approximately two hours to kill. So we're sitting here. We didn't hit the grocery store. We didn't hit the L.L. Bean outlet. Didn't buy anything. And had to drop off some chairs oh lord the chair story just never ends we had to drop off a couple of chairs at the ups store yes we ordered new chairs dave ordered the wrong color chair so we had to reorder the chairs so now we had to take the other chairs back so now we're still waiting on a chair so the chair saga continues anyway we're gonna hang out here for about i don't know another hour or so until we can get into our next spot and uh We'll see you there. We went ahead and unhooked the car because honestly I was just too lazy to walk between all the stores we wanted to go to a store over there want to go to a store over there want to go to a store over there and had to carry them doggone chairs to the UPS store so we almost at the campground so I suggested that we just unhook the car drive around the parking lot and then we're done with that and I forgot to mention it's hot good lord have mercy why is it so hot i'm in maine it's not supposed to be this hot up here it is not i left georgia because it was hot down there and i want to go someplace cool it is not cool it's not cool up here i'm sweating profusely <sighs> day ladies and gentlemen and we are packing up from seacoast campground here in hampton maine oops i'm sorry hampton new hampshire and we are headed to a campground that we hear is exceptional we are very lucky to get into this next campground actually i hear that we are literally the only ones that are allowed in this campground is the name of this campground is uh, laura and dan's front yard rv park yeah, it's pretty exclusive, and Dave and I are really excited to get there. I hear it comes with grandbaby, so <laughs> what more could you want? So, oh, here comes wrong way now. He's been outside getting everything all situated. Hey, Dave, what's going on? What you doing out there? Hey, just getting ready to go. Yeah? Got the fresh water tank full, the other tank's empty. 
Now we're not gonna have water hookups at Laura and Dan's recreational park and front yard, are we? Nope, we're not gonna have sewer or water or we'll have 20 amp electrical, enough to run the fridge and okay. the battery charger. All right, so we're supposed to be in the house with the baby anyway, so that is outstanding. It's really cool that Laura and Dan's recreational park and front yard is big enough to uh, cool. to host our gigantic rig limbo, so we're pretty excited about that. And yeah, so I have access to my house and access to the grandbaby. Life could not be more perfect. Anyway, so we're packing up, getting ready to go. Slowly, we got to put Yeah, we in. still, it's only 10 o'clock. We don't have we to be out of here till 11. And I told Laura and Dan's recreational park and front yard that we wouldn't be there till about noon. So uh, she had things to do this morning. So yeah, we'll be there about noon. We'll leave here in about an hour or so, so. I am concerned there's some low power lines going down her street. Mm. That looked really low when we were in the car. Mm. So we're gonna have to go real slow there and yeah. maybe you have to get Allison up on the roof to. Yeah, I've done that before. Them. I have done that before. We had an, a bounder in the past, and uh, I would sometimes have to stand on the roof of the bounder while Dave was driving it and hold up power lines. <laughs> um, I hope I don't have to do that again. But anyway, hey, we'll catch up with you guys <laughs> in a little bit. All right. So we uh, made it. We are leaving the campground. We've just pulled out of the spot, and uh, it's kind of a little bit of a tight campground. It was a nice campground. Dave, any quick thoughts before we get out on the road about this particular campground? Campground, liked it, didn't like it. It was nice, but it was hot. Yes, it was hot. And it's very tight in here, too. Very, very, very tight. There are lots and lots, as many campers in here as, as, as they can get. And I'm a little camper claustrophobic, so it's a bit tighter in here than I'd really like. But, uh, but hey, you know what? It was a good experience. So, uh, yeah, like I said a few minutes ago, we we're pulling up anchor and we are on our way to uh, Laura and Dan's RV park and front yard. And uh, yeah, come along for the ride. We're excited to get there. Please drive to highlighted route. Hello everybody and hey guys. thanks for stopping by to check out the latest episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Dave, what's going on? Where are we and what is going on? What did you call it the other day? Laura's. Call it Laura and Dan's RV Park and Front Yard, which by the way- I is, call it a resort. It's a resort. It definitely is a resort. I'm really sorry that none of you can have this experience. It's reserved exclusively for grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it sucks to be you guys, but we are having a blast staying here at Laura and Dan's RV Park and Front Yard. Um, Otherwise known as the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here for about one more week while Laura and Dan go, uh, they've got to uh, gotta go to a wedding they're gonna go to. Yep, in Minnesota. So, yep. so we came to New Hampshire to take care of the grandson. Yeah, so we're here in New Hampshire taking care of the grandbaby while they're taking care of their business and their fun time. So uh, we're having a great time. All is going well. We're going to be here for about one more week, yep. a week and a day or so. And then where are we going? Uh, well, then we're going to do a harvest host. Okay. We're going to stay at a brewery over in uh, Northwoods, New Hampshire. Okay, that'll be the end of the month. Yep. But after that, we're going to head up to Stowe, Vermont, spend about a week up there. It's up near Burlington, up north. And then we're going to go over after that. It's Moosehead Lake in Maine, northern Maine. And then... Uh, 
then after that, I think we head towards Acadia, well, Lubeck, we're going to Lubeck. That's where the most eastern point of the U.S. is. So that'll be cool. Cool, thanks. And then after that, we go to Acadia. So Lubeck is the most eastern point in the United States, but Acadia and Cadillac Mountain sees the sunrise first because of the elevation. Yeah, very so cool. So we're hitting two notable places. Very cool. We've been uh, we've been to these places before. We lived up here. Yep. This is oh, actually chipmunks. Oh, chipmunk! Chipmunk! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dave actually retired from the Coast Guard out of Portland, Maine, so we've lived in this area for yep. a couple of years before, and we've enjoyed it immensely, so we're happy to be back. But hey, we just wanted to... Uh, we're, we're, we've never gone to Acadia. We're going to be there for a week. We've always gone for just like a day. Yeah, that's true. We've never really done any serious hiking there, have we? So, and that's the plan this time. We're yeah. going to try to do a bunch of hiking. We're thinking about doing the Beehive Trail, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're we'll up see. for it. We're kind of old. <laughs> I don't we'll see. And then, I don't know. My stamina is being built up pretty good right now by this grandbaby. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, folks, thanks again for stopping by. Yeah. We hope you like what we've got. We hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button. Share it with friends. Our channel's Shit. not, YouTube's doing something where our channel's yeah, not growing anymore. Ch YouTube's not doing anything to promote our channel, and I don't really do anything to promote our channel, honestly, <laughs> So maybe <either>. you can. <laughs> so maybe you can help us out by hitting that share button and share this video with a friend if you think someone might enjoy it. But hey, we'll be back next time. I don't know if I'll have a video next week or not, but we'll see how it goes. If not, we'll see you when you see it. You guys be good to one another love one another we only got one life to live make it count we'll see you next time on driving miss alley peace out